guys? In today's video, I want to bring you my top 10 best contract in the NHL. Some huge steals in that list. And here's the criteria that I use to make that top 10 because I don't want to take any contract. I took contract at least valid till the 2021-2022 NHL season and for playoff teams. So contract that could potentially help your team having more space to spend on more players to help make a deep run in the foreseeable future. So without further ado, let's jump right in. At number 10, we have David Pasternak, one of the best, most skilled winger in the National Hockey League. Playing for the Bruins, which is always in contention, they have a really good core, some veterans, and some really great young guys as well. Pasternak signed a deal at 6.666 million per year, capped in average. That means that for 6.66 million a year, you're getting him one of the most, if not the most skilled right winger in national hockey. At number nine, we have the guy that I'm waiting to jersey off, or at least a team of, because this is an Eggblad jersey, but Alexander Barkov, number nine, is a steal. I think he's still one of the most underrated players in the National Hockey League. He's a point per game center. He's playing that two-way game. He's gonna play that 23, 24 minute a night. And at 5.9 million a year, that's a steal. Enters a really good shot at least getting back to the playoff. And once you're in, we never know what can happen. At number eight, we have Johnny Goudreau. Johnny Aki, one of the best left wingers in the National Hockey League. He's fast, amazing skills, can score goals. I just love that guy. And at 6.75 million a year, I mean, it's a steal for sure. But I think the Calgary Flames is definitely uh, at least a playoff team in my mind for next year. And all those guys that I'm gonna mention past three in the next seven are definitely worth at least two more million uh, a year for sure. A player I really like at number seven is Victor Arvidsson. Playing in the stack Nashville team, gonna be a contender every single year for the next at least three, four, five years. They got the best defensive core in my mind, but that is all not because of Robertson, but that 4.25 cap, it is just amazing. And not to mention that that contract is valid to the end of the 2023-2024 NHL season. That just blows my mind. At number six, we have Rickard Rackle. Again, I really like this guy, very underrated as well. Gonna be a 775 point guy next year for sure. Can score goals. I still don't understand why they, they got him at 3.8 million a year. That is until the end of 2021-2022 season again. A very, very good deal for the Ducks. Getting to that juicy top five, and we're gonna use two defensemen for the next two spot. First one is Seth Jones, 5.4 million a year. Had a huge breakout year next year, and I think we will carry that momentum and be a 60 point demon next year. And at 5.4 million, that's amazing. Columbus is still very much in play to make the playoff and finish top three in the Metropolitan Division. 5.4 million till same thing as Radical, the end of 2021 2022 will definitely help the Blue Jackets kind of maximize their asset and their money on their players to maybe make a deep run in the next year. Just because he's a bit cheaper, I put Ghost at number four because he's getting paid 4.5 million for the next five years. That's just incredible. He's gonna be a 60 point demon for the whole five years. He's not as good defensively as the guys at Seth Jones, but he's one million cheaper. And we're talking about bargains of contract right here. I think Ghost could be worth 6.57, Jones 7.58, so that's why technically that million is why I put Ghost at number four. I would say advantage that you can do when you sign a young guy in his early 20s to a five, six, seven year deal, those guys is all proof of that on that list. You get a huge bargain if those guys explode or fully develop within one or two years of their beginning of the contract and then they're just so much of a steal for the next few years of their contract. At number three, and that may surprise you, but I put this guy at number three just because of the signing that Maple Leaf just made and John Terrace at 11 per year. Morgan Riley at 5 million per year is amazing if you ask me. Again, for the next three seasons until the end of 2021, 2022, he's I think when you look him play and he's on this game, he's amazing. He's amazing both ways on the ice. I think he has a solid shot with that offensive core of posting 60 points next year. That may sound crazy, but I really believe that he can. I mean, that top six is gonna be, that top nine is gonna be so nasty. Morgan Riley can definitely hit 60, and he's that core blue line defenseman. They need one more, if you ask me. Not necessarily as the caliber of Morgan Riley, but he's definitely. It's definitely worth seven, seven point five, eight million, and that five million with Marner and Matthews, 
with their contract expiring, Tyre is getting 11, Leander not signed, 5 million for Rally, and mention to Anderson here that it's only getting paid 5 as well, are gonna be 10 million that you're glad that it's only 10 because they're worth more. Now at number 2, again, another guy that had a an amazing, if not the best breakout of any player we've ever seen the past few years, Nathan McKinnon, 97 points again, which is amazing last year. And on top of that, it's 6.3 million a year until the end of 2022-2023 season. Just became, like I said, a huge bargain. The centerpiece of everything happening in Colorado and with guys like Yost, Makar, they have a really great young core forward. And they, if they can make a run at it in two, three, four years, Making is still going to be under the contract, so it's going to be huge for them having that benefit of playing with that contract and maybe wishing to make a deep run in the next years. I think Colorado is again a playoff team next year. They have a really great young core, needs to build up on that, and that's why in two or three years when Colorado will have to for their shot to maybe make a deep run, that contract is going to be the best part of them in the national offense. But as of right now, the number one spot goes to Mark Shively. When a number one center makes 6.125 a year till the end of 2023, 2024, and he's a point per game guy, will play big minutes, 23, 24 a night, he's clutch in a playoff. We've seen him score some huge goals. Nothing flashy about Mark Shockley's game, but he's doing everything right. Has great chemistry with Blake Wheeler and Kyle Connor. But he can pay your number one center 6 million a year. That's just amazing. That's why Mike Sharkley deserved number one spot on that list. Now, I may have forgot. I mean, there's so many great contracts in the NHL. There's some terrible one. Just ask Mark Barry Germain. But I mean, <laughs> if there's anything that I forgot, feel free to comment at any time. Any contract that could be on that top 10. At any, that's why, just as a friendly reminder, I use at least three years remaining on their contract. And for teams that I... I think we'll make the playoff next year. So if you want to use the same criteria, by all means, go crazy in the comment. And thank you guys for watching this video. We have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys.